Was good to yeah, yeah. meet you. How you doing, what are you man? Saying, big man? Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying, the bloody men them are at the men them block. We got men like your boy Moses Khan. We got men like Eli Pili and men like Dwayne Wicked Say Flores. Eli Pili. That's right. You couldn't Eli Pili. You just said that, right? Yes, I said that. Why? What's up with that? Eli Pili. That's Eli Pili. Eli Pili. Eli Pili. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Eli Hey, what's good, Tommy? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm just driving around the fucking city, trying to check alleyways, you know? Learn my shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey. That's a good idea. We should... Do I'll probably do that, right? Uh... Especially after yesterday, god damn it, Tom. What do you mean yesterday? Ah, bloody shit, man, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, I, mean, I, I, uh, I, hit, I hit another one after you went to sleep. Oh, um, you're a cricket. God damn it. That brain of yours. Oh, yo, yo. Let me let me count the, the bloody the ribs. What's that called? Uh, you know the grooves in the brain? I think I think you There's lost all the grooves in the brain, man. There's a lot of them. Are you sure, man? Bloody shit, you hit the bank right after you hit another bank. God yeah, damn it. Yeah, I mean, it has to be a lot Did of them to hit a bank, you know. Yeah, of course. And drove again. Oh, shit. And drove again. Did you get away at least? Uh, Yeah, I got away. Uh, But the car, we ran out of fuel in the chase. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Is it because the chase went on for a really, really long time? It was a long chase, yeah. Because... It was a long chase, okay. but we also had like a half tank when we uh, was at the bank. So we'll learn uh, that lesson yeah, the next time. Make sure we always have a full uh, tank. So I think we'd have got, we gotten away because their cars were fucked oh. up, but mine wasn't, you know? Have you seen uh, Have you seen the new cop cars running around? And please tell me there's more cop cars. What? Bloody what shit. We've seen like, we've seen like Cougettes, Benchies, Sorry, who? dirt bikes. Cougettes, man. Cougettes. Yeah, man. Like the... Coquettes. Yeah, uh, Alpatas is, uh, yeah, they're called Cougettes. No, they're called Cougettes. Yeah, Cougettes. Okay, whatever. Ba that ban you got Banshee. Is in Police Banshee. Banshee. Yeah, Police Banshee, man. Police Banshee. Yeah, man, and a bloody dirt bike. Great. I know, right? Hey, this is about to get so much more fun. But yeah, hey, uh, it, uh make your way down to the men and block if you can. He's got some uh, things to ask you. Some things to ask me? Yeah, I don't... Uh, Pitar, what, what do you want to ask him? Oh. Yeah, but uh, what is it about? Oh, 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 it says it's about me and you and the boom hafu. Sorry, it, what? Yeah, the boom hafu. The, the monkey. Oh yeah, it's it's about the monkey. Huh? Uh, no, I've never. I didn't even know there was a show. What the fuck you on about? Uh, he's saying it's about me and you and the boom mafu. That's what he wants to talk about. It sounds very important. It doesn't sound very important to me. It's, it's very important to him at least. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. Hello. What are you saying? How you doing? You got my stuffs? Yeah, of course, of course. Of course, of course. You know, I was, you I, was, I was literally like running for like 10 minutes with the cops after me. Yeah, how'd that go? I literally just said, fuck it. I'm going to protect the president. And I took one for the team. I was just tackling the fuck out of both the cops and I distracted them. I you're, think y'all got, y'all all that, got yeah. away. But Carmelo got away Thank as well. You. Yeah, I think everybody but me got away. I saw in the newspaper that you, yeah, that, that's why I just, I just messaged because uh, I was so tired. I was like, I'm just going to go sleep. Yeah, it's whatever. As long as you got away with the cut, it's good. Yeah, I, I took everything. one for the team. I appreciate that. I owe you one. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You do. I don't know why I owe you, but I owe you one. Yeah, you got to figure that out. All right, I will. I will. Um, I'm just going to do something real quick, like a quick meeting, and then uh, I'll come meet you and give you your stuff. All right. Call me, I will guess. Do. All right. Bye. Later. Later.
<laughs> One slice of pizza, please. <laughs> That would be insane. It would be. Man, like Come on, Tommy. Man, like Tommy T. Man, like Tommy T. Yeah. So, come on. Oh Get my god. Know. Driller. Was good. Real shot color. Come on. Real yeah, shot yeah. color. Real shot color. Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. What are you oh, telling oh, me, oh. blood? How have you been, yeah, Tommy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, me. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. good. Do my shit. How you like my jacket? <laughs> Looking good, I, bro. You like I the puffer? Have, have one in jackets, yeah? Come on, yeah, back man. me up, my guy. Come. Hey, it's puffer jacket season. So I was wondering, what? my guy. guy. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Oh my Sheesh. god, dab a man up, dab a man up. Let's get it. Come on. Come I like on. L's as well. Long time. Yeah, man. The whole team is here. Yeah, it's been too long, my brother. My guy, come on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was wondering maybe if I could mention something, you know, like you know how I'm wearing my puffer jacket. Yeah, yeah. I was, you know, maybe wondering if I could make this puffer jacket, uh, you know, a permanent addition to my closet. A permanent addition to your closet? Yeah, well, I want oh, to make it. Oh, like, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I think what trying to say. Wait, I think I know what he's trying to he say. He wants a chain. Say it with chest, yeah. bro. I want a say chain. With confidence. What chain, though? You know, a mandam chain. S you want that's a bloody fucking right. Chain. That's a all you want is a chain. You that's chain. all you want. You want a chain. No, but I want to be a part of the brotherhood too. Part of well, it's not just a brotherhood. And a sisterhood. It's family. And it's family. family yeah, man. You know, I love NBC, and they'll they'll always be my brothers. But I've always felt out of place, you know. But when I'm around you guys, my heart is warm. So oh. I was wondering, maybe you know, we could talk about it. You know, a jiggity. Oh, that's the wrong one. A jiggity. A jiggity, jiggity. You know what? You know what, Patar? You know what? Look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. Yeah, of course. Let me have a look in those beautiful, beautiful Let's black eyes. Let's take a look. All right, all right. You know what I see when I look into those eyes of yours? What? You know what I see? I see. <laughs> I see. I see myself. I see myself because your eyes are very wet. You might want to go. Check a doctor for no. that one. What the fuck is that wet? What? They are wet. filled with you know happiness. What, what? Man said his eyes are wet. His eyes are very wet. God damn. It's like staring into a mirror. Yeah. Anyways, you know what Bo else I see? You know what I see? I see family. I Wait. see bonds. I see blood that we share together. I, I see, see that the his good eyes times. are wet. And you're staring into a mirror. What does that make you, Moses? Uh, I don't know. What does that make me? Wet. Moist. Moist. Yep. You know what? Moist. I am always moist. Fast. Okay. You're always anyway, moist for me. Quick one. Yeah. What's Peanut saying about this though? Like, I he's spoken to, he's to them. them, man. No, they wake up. You know, you know them. They wake up late. You know, another like five hours, six hours. Wait. So, Peanut wakes up early. You're still though, technically right? NBC. I yeah, say? I'm technically still NBC, but I want to, you know, sit them down, cordially talk to them. You know, see oh, what gosh. is up. Oh, but um, mm. yeah. You know, I want mm. I want the separation to be cordial. If you know, you want an, I don't a, want issues. A, we are all family. Force. I mean, yeah. like ah. to me, NBC are family at the same time. Anyway, hundred percent. You know. Okay, but then I just I just don't uh, want to. It's a cause anything between everyone, yeah. right? Like no, no, and I, I don't want to. Don't want to think right? about it yet until we see like what Sharp Peanut thinks about it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, exactly. I, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. And, you know, when, when they're awake, hopefully I can talk to them about it too. We can, if you want, we can all be there so you guys can hear it. So, like, you guys see their honest reaction, you know? But then, uh, Patar, my, my question is, are you going to tell them you're leaving NBC or are you going to tell them you're joining the Mandem and leaving the NBC? No, no, I'm going to tell them I'm leaving first. Okay, okay. Because regardless, even like even well, if you guys were to so say no, is, I was gonna go is, like uh, uh, I was gonna become Tommy, a solo. I'm agent, gonna go you know? join the angels, so oh, it's no. over anyway. Hey, if you ask me, you're already <laughs> part of the men them, god damn it. You've done so yeah. much for us. You're always with us, you do so much with us. <laughs> you're already pretty part of the family, man. You just wanna make it official. Yeah. And like I don't I don't I understand, you know. I don't want it to cause issues, this and that. So like you know, I'd gladly go sit down, talk to them, see how, co like, you know, how we can make a safe, you know, separation, you know? 
I, yeah, I think I think that would be a good idea. Finding out what your current gang. And we we, yeah. we, we got to talk about you here as well. Not gonna lie. No, no, hundred percent. Not trying to like talk behind your back, but just so we can no, no, all be on the same page. It's the first time I'm seeing Dwayne in days. If I've seen L's in days, so yeah, need to catch no, no, up and like talk about everything anyway. If you want, I can go take my taxi, drive around a little bit. You guys chitter chatter. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea I'll... if you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. Ring me up uh, when you guys are done, okay? Go do. All right, yes, sir. Sir. See you yeah. later, my friends. Take care. Take care. See you around. You, you think he pulls up in here? He's like, yeah, I want to be Mando. You're like, yeah, no, baby, I'm Mando. You're practically Mando already. Bro, don't tell what? him that. Why are you telling him? Okay, 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 Dwayne. Dwayne, are you telling me that Patar, of all people who has been running around with us, doing all this shit, doing all this shit, Did I say us, giving us... Let me finish, let me finish. I you already know what you're going to say. I don't want to fucking right? right? hear it, Moses. What am I going to say? I don't want to fucking hear it, Moses. I'm going to tell you this, shit? bro. Bro, listen, I'm going to tell you this. What are you going to tell me? Stop fucking running your mouth like that. I beg what? you, big man. Because now. Bro, what is the you, problem here? What, what if is we the say problem no? here? What if we say no? Go on, lads. I'm like, Bollywood. What, what's he going to yes. think? What if we say no, we, right? It doesn't. Well, if you say no, then obviously it doesn't matter but, what he but, thinks. But, 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 you see what I'm saying, bro? No, think I about it, I, my guy. I'm saying. No, 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 I just said, you know, if it comes down to me, yes, I think he's ready. That's all I said. I didn't speak for everyone. I said he's proven himself. He's done a lot already. He's done so much with us. He's practically <laughs> yeah. them already. Am I wrong in yeah. saying that? He's, he's, either way, like, Dwayne, we spoke to Patar earlier. He knows that we have to discuss him between everyone, so he knows not to... And I also made conclusions. sure it was going to be clean. I made sure that he clears it with his gang first before we make a decision. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dwayne. But to be fair, him going to Peanut and asking implies that we've accepted him at the same time. So, No, but that's why I asked him, right? Is he going to tell him that he's leaving NBC? Or is he telling him that he's planning on joining us and that's why he's leaving NBC? Yeah, I hear that. I mean, uh, I want to yeah, know who you are. Let, let, let me just think out loud and no I want difference. to get like you guys' thoughts real quick. So, right now to me, like we're struggling, right? 100%. There's, like, for, for the most part, it's me, Stacey Moses, about in the evenings. Obviously, I understand your situations. Yeah, so yeah. it's a case of, like, for me, what I want to know from you, especially, Dwayne, is, like, do you want to keep this, like, close circle? Or do you want to start opening up and getting more people in? Because I know there's a lot of people, who, like, would, as you've seen with Patar, that would definitely want to join. But whether you want to back them or not, I don't know, you know? Like, do you want to keep it close circle? And keep it the family that it is, or do you want to start expanding and moving on to bigger, better things? We need to know that now as a group, as a collective, like what our thought process is here. Well, this is what I'm gonna say. I, uh, I think, I think Eli. Yeah, what well, well, people see, what well, you forget, Moses, is that we, 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 we started this off as as completely different people. Toy wants, Toy wants to know his information. When we started Toy wants this to know year, it was just us. Where he's going to go. You know what I, I mean? I know. I but Patar was there as well, wasn't he? Because he's going to need Madame Mies to expand, realistically. I don't what know. What would Remy say to this? I don't know either. They're not around. I don't like to speak for other people. I don't like to guess what they would like to say either. I just want to hear it from themselves. That's why I don't do that. I don't look to what other people have to say and then make a decision based on, my, on that. I just so say you what just I completely think. ignore it. I'm not no, that's literally not what I said. I said that I just speak my own piece. Do with it what you will. Wish she was lying. Have you have you have you haven't you thought about the fact that haven't you thought about the fact that like we've done all of this and I like remember how I backed Stacy? Uh huh. What did me say, say Renny? What did me say? To her until I, I back back her in front of all of you. You know what I'm saying? No, that was literally sprung upon us in the parking lot. That no. came out of nowhere. I, I was just like, you know what? I completely 100% agree with you. Because even though Stacy came in uh, Wait, after everyone else was already settled. No, I was I not don't there. Know. 
Uh, I was only there for parking lot. I don't, I don't remember. I know me, you, and Tommy had a conversation, but I don't remember if Mo Moses was there. And now he wants to become Mandem because he's leaving NBC. What if Peanut says well, no? Well, no, that, that uh, he has to clarify that with them, right? It's not up to us. It's it up doesn't to fucking matter them. because if he Why says not? I'm leaving or I'm leaving to leave the Mandem, he might as well say I'm leaving to I'm leaving to go to the Mandem because if he leaves and then he instantly joins us, it will be the same shit. Yeah, and. I know exactly, Dwayne. That's why I brought it up to him. And yeah. you heard his answer, right? Yeah, but... I, I think MDMA and make him officially MDMA is something that we can definitely do. And I think it's the way forward. And quite honestly, have you guys paid your taxes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, did you we've pay? been working on it. Same, 40k. You paid 40k in a week? No, no, no. As in, like, the two weeks worth. Two weeks, so 220k. Yeah, it might be 35k. Okay. We might, I think we might brought it down to 15. Because I just thought it was unfair on everyone. So, I can't believe Stacey pulled out a number like 50. I am, I'm confused. I'm not going to lie to you, like... 50? I'm, yeah. I'm happy to scrap this whole shit. If we ain't getting a warehouse, I'm happy to scrap it. Give everyone their money back. You know what? I just got an offer. Not that boy, uh, you didn't see him, but that boy Ruben, that we were chatting to, uh, that I yeah. was chatting to. He uh, he's a hunter. He's keen. Is that whose phone is that? Oh, it's mine. I'm trying to put it on silent, but it's still going. There oh. we go. Um, Ru that guy Ruben that uh, I was talking to, he sells me a shit ton of bands. He, he's low key. Uh, no, not gonna lie, he's. If, if anything, like, if it, we put the labels in it, right, he, this guy would low-key be a grinder, okay? He gets a shit ton of bands, and he hunts a lot, right? I can't deny it, but he's a cool no don. No shame in it, no shame in it. He's a cool don, innit? And he just said that he has good money, and he can flow about a 200k, because he wants to get a warehouse himself. And he put it in his name. And then we'd have a system where he puts all his bands in there, and I clean and put the money for the bands in there, in the in the in a briefcase. Yeah, well, do you trust him like that to be having a warehouse with all of our shit in? Did you hear him? I heard him, but I mean, I'm, I've known him for what five minutes. I know you. I know you ain't you, bro. Listen, Judgment it's just character. a question, bro. I yes. Hey, yeah. that's all you needed to say. The the one thing I worry about, if the right officer gets to him, if he'd be smart enough to call a lawyer. If we just tell him that, if something happens and it's serious and it involves us, he calls the lawyer. We just the make reason... that very clear. Because if he starts yapping, say someone like Carl Pred shows up. He's getting cracked mm. open like a peanut. Yeah, I know, and that's that's and the I, reason I asked NBC. the question because remember when we had Reggie in this circle and I had that gun to his head and he didn't crack then, but then he went off on his own little rampage or whatever that Moses has been telling I me mean, about. He's an old man. I, guy's... I, I, I saw that Reggie this week. That that guy's. Yeah, Mo, Moses told me. Moses told me. Okay, I, I'll I'm catch up on that later. But either way, did we have that offer there on the like same way if we want to get it? Like the thing is, if we all put in like. If you're putting like one, two, three, four, five, five hundred, that would be seven hundred k. If we like, if we all put in a hundred k each, that would be that would be five hundred. And what we like, I paid my forty k. You paid yours. Have you? Uh, I think I'm sitting on like twenty twenty k paid. All right. Something like fifteen so to twenty. So I I gave fifteen. And apparently I owe 35 this week, so. You know what? You don't owe shit, big man. Shut you the can't fuck quite, up. You can't pay it. No, bro, no, no. What, I'm not what do you mean I if I can't a... pay it? Bro, if you... Do you, you, you know how much money I've got in my in my fucking apartment right now? I've got like 70, 80k. Alright, right, say, say less. Alright, say less, say less. But I'm saying, if we don't have the money, like Moses, you don't have to worry about covering it if you can't cover it. If it's going to run you broke, don't like just do 10k and then like have 10k uh, for yourself. Yeah, no, no. I'm I'm in the same boat as Eli actually. All my money, I have the money, but it's all dirty. We'll get that clean with Patar. But listen, I I like Patar. Patar 
is my guy. He's my driller. He's down for it. Like, he's helped me out a lot. And he needs, he needs, what he needs right now is he needs to figure out if this is the way he wants to do it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but for, I like this, this flight to my ends. It, it, it really helped clarify what the what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And what and is it you want to do? Big man, if I if I was here every day, I, I can guarantee to you, like I want to change things. I wanna, I want. I think we've been waffling around too much. No, no, no offense in that, but we've been waffling around too much. And now we've been waiting for the moment to get serious. There's no better though. time than now. And if I like, trust me, bro. If I was, if I was, if I was on what you man were on, around. on your drugs, man would be his takeover season. There's so many ideas that I know I can bring to the table right now, fam. And big man, think about it. Can you, like, think about every single time that there's not a fucking joint to sell anywhere. You think I won't be running around selling joints, bro? Listen. If 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 I start making money moves properly, mm -hmm. well, eventually I, I will get a warehouse either way, and then from there it's game over. I don't have to have the dispensary. I will sit outside that fucking dispensary and shop boxes to people, joints to people, okay. no matter what. Look at that weed. You see that? See how that appears on Twitter? If a big man, man is the weed man. I will I will take over this whole shit. I will take over everything, fam. You. You, you're about to become one of the most breaded motherfuckers in this whole city because you got a legal job that's the casino. That's bread. You got hacker mans under your belt. You're, you're hitting banks left and right. Not many Isn't people it? can even oh. do that in the city right now. We don't, you don't even need to do it with us. We can, we, can, we can just get you on quick hacking dips. You're making money. Easy. Stacy always got the drawings on deck. Always got the thing on deck. But I need to talk to her. I need, to, I need to talk to her. I have not spoken to her since this 50k thing. And just like I just fucking yelled at Moe's, I'm sorry, bro, but it needed to be said. And I know these men won't fucking say it to your face because they're nice, but I fucking will. And you know oh, this, man. What do you mean? I'll say anything to anyone's face. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, Dwayne, you know, the, the thing is, it's not about shouting in people's faces. You know, you could just, if you feel something, you could just say it. You know, there's no need to make a whole dra like. This is interesting. Uh, this could, uh, I could spin this. I could spin this. You know, like uh, that. You could just say. What are you trying to say, big man? That's the fucking way I am. You have say... a problem with that, big man? No, I'm trying to say. You have a problem God, with God, that? Like that's the way like I that. fucking. Right, listen, you have a problem. We, 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 we ain't here to fucking beef internally like right now. We have. But anyway, something that we get. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I have a question for Tommy. Run it, run it. Yeah, I have a question for Tommy. Like. You said that we're struggling. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Like, what, what are we struggling with right now? I'm just curious. Like, we were making moves, you know? People were getting yeah, our yeah. name out. Like, we get our name out there, people started recognizing who we were. Mm. And that ain't happening right now. People, people, mm. like, I mean, in my name, I might be, like, I like building bridges with these other gangs and shit. But because our presence isn't seen, we ain't about, like, Mm. We're not doing shit as a group. Other people are like getting past us and like we're not making progress that way. Same way like, St like Stacey's implemented this whole tax thing, right? And I was just concerned if we can be able to pay it or not. I, I'm not gonna lie, I backed it. But then even then, like, you're, you're saying that we've been on like, we've been waffling or whatever. Like in the past couple of days, like I said, we've hit six banks. We've sorted out Reggie, Dave Perry. They're gone. Sorted out that whole situation. Yeah, fuck, bro, Dave Perry and Reggie Watson. An old man. No, no, I'm just Dave saying, like, we, we dealt with that situation. Like, they were running their name. Mm. They're running, they running our name into the ground. To be fair. They're graffitiing my name around the city. They're trying to make fair, us beef I, the borders. I, I, t <laughs> to be fair, like, I appreciate that you dealt with that because it would have been... I don't. Like the, I remember the first time you told me that would have been it, right? They got there, dealt you know the same I mean? way that you would have done it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but but they're like, I have no, bro. Listen, I have no qualms with any of you. You know, you're all my people, and I like. And you, 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 Moses, you're talking about me, bro. I'm not shouting at you. I'm just passionate. This is all I fucking have, bro. I don't have nothing left. 
I hear you. I, I hear guess, you. I guess my point is more like, I feel like we're moving in our own individual paths. Oh, and yeah. we haven't been moving as a group for a while. Yeah. Mm. Like, I've, I've been going that way, and you've been going that way. Yeah. I hear that. Dean, Yo, give us a second, fam. Boys, give me a second before you guys, uh, I, I don't know, Patar said you guys are in a meeting. Uh, before uh, you guys continue your meeting, listen, um, some shit has changed, man. Big man, um, big man, big man, big man. Yeah, we're talking, fam. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. you can't just walk up here and be like, Yo, oh, fam, some God, shit has changed. Is relax, relax, relax. Well, hold on. Give me, me. give me, give us a second, innit? it? No, no, that's what I'm, I'm trying to give him my proposal before you continue talking. Because you're talking to Patar. Okay, I'm not. Okay, we're not. I don't. All right, go on, do your thing. All right, so yeah, so I I renounced my membership at a um. At NBC. All right, so if you guys are willing to have me. If you guys are willing to have me. Can you, brother? Oh bro, bro, talk to him real quick. What, what has happened? What, yo, what as, is, as Peanut Dunn saying? Like, what's happened here? Not nothing's <laughs> happened. Everything's cordial. Why is everyone leaving NBC? No, nobody's. I mean, who's all leaving? Who's all leaving NBC? <laughs> I, I, I'm saying the same sh What the? F all right, so I'm just letting, I'm okay. letting you guys know. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm no place to make no demands. I'm just. It's up, really up to y'all. So I can't really. Have you saying. spoken to them, man? Though. Um, they're tracking. They know. You sure? Shit. Yeah, they know. They're not gonna be pissed. I ain't, no, try, I ain't trying not, to beat no, NBC like they're the boys. It's family, bro. It's, exactly. There's no That's hate. I mean. There's no, it's no, when, when I left, it's no hate. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, oh, fuck y'all. I'm going to go. No, it ain't not like that. It's just like, yeah, but then you that, look like at what? With then talking, we're leaving NBC. Like, let's, let's just do the situation real quick. What? That means there's Peanut, mm -hmm. Jack, mm -hmm. yep. Alan, and mm -hmm. that Brad guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah uh -huh. I, I ain't met that guy, I don't think, properly. Right. Is that it? And Salim, Salim. Uh, yeah, and Salim. And Salim, Salim is winning his way out. Um, but like, Wait, NBC, uh, NBC, even as well. uh, Salim's going business. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of going clean. Like what, basically what I did technically. Huh? Um, so the thing is, NBC is like a family to me. But the thing is, you got to think about oh. it this way. When I'm awake, Moses, Tommy, and he, who the fuck do I hang out with? Uh, us. Yeah, so who's around from NBC until like when I'm going to sleep, correct? That's why I mean, he's around. Mm. That's what, that's what, like, that's why I didn't know it's cordial. You know what I'm saying? Just, is it, is it not better to time. merge, kind of, or like discuss that at least? Wait, you, wait, you want to, like, wanna stronger mess. together? Uh, I is that not going to run? I don't know. Like, I, I don't, yeah, that's not going to, that's not, that's, that's not going to run. Uh, to be 100% honest with you. Right now, though. You could talk to them about that once. I just, I just don't want to leave them in that situation. Like, you gotta think about it this way, Tommy. Uh, I like haven't you done a job with them. Valuable. Like you, especially, you're valuable. Like your experience is. I haven't done a job with them since I got out of a prison. To be honest, I haven't done a bank. You, you've seen it yourself. You guys now don't I've do banks. I just, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've always denied doing anything. You know what I'm saying? This is ropes, lads. Whoa. This is so okay. ropes. There's not. Once ropes. again, there's no hate. There's no bad blood between us. Uh, so between ropes. me and NBC. Like I said, this is. I told you, I'm going I'm not angels, no, no demands. I'm this, angels. This is just an asking. You feel me? <laughs> you guys are the people I hang with out the most. Um, the PSG signing out else. They got some money, right? As soon as so I like, wake up, I call Moses. My fault. What can y'all go, ahead, brother? No, nah, I was gonna say, regardless of like our decision, are you out of NBC? Like, yeah, yeah. Regardless, the, yeah. Regardless of the decision, I'm gone. Okay. You guys know Marlo, the the guy who works at the casino. Him. Yeah, uh, me. And Dean wrote to Marlo at the apartments in front of everyone. And nobody did shit because we threatened to shoot everyone. Yeah. Guess what? Marlo and Dean are now friends. Some would say really good friends. Same with, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, buddy, uh, Mando. Mando and Dean. They, they used to do everything back in the day. And then something happened and they split apart. It was one of the most heartbreaking uh, breakups of all time. And now they're on good terms again. I think that says more about Dean than, you know, him running around doing he's still a Stacey shit and all that. And I mean, sure, he might do that, well. but I oh think those God, days that's... are gone. And now he's all about building uh, bridges and businesses. He's gone full legal, in fact. He has like several jobs that pay him really well. <laughs> he works for, uh, he works for uh, the, the, the gallery. He works for Wu Chang. He works for 
uh, the casino. He works a lot of places, the places that he used to have beef with. I mean, the thing is, like, do we need to rush and make a decision and say, like, yes, Absolutely like, right not. now? Absolutely. No, I just think we, we, actually, can... I think we need to align our thoughts. Yeah, like, that's like, why I, was, I just want to hear from you guys and what you think. I mean, even even if it's a, like, this is just me throwing something out there. Even if it's a case where they're like 100% MDMA, we see how things go for a little while and then make a like official decision like a couple of days down the line. Maybe that's the best solution for now. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any other thoughts, options. I think I think the way I think right now, I should put it on, my, on the table. I think we go expand or we get left behind. And that's that, I think that's where I'm at right now. That could be evolved. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. that. that they could, Dean and Patak could bring up the table as well. What the fuck? That, that is definitely not right. Is that, that's it, that's it. Adapt or die? Mm-hmm. Oh, that that one. Oh, yeah, survive or adapt. Or adapt to, what, what, yes. Yeah, we're not really good at this, are we? And like, but like, ultimately, yeah, should, yeah, no. we've been adapting, we've been evolving, right? But yeah, I think we got to expand to have that move faster in all directions. Yo, what's good? Wagwan in here. Come, come, let's go to the meeting room. Peanut, you just want to flex your goddamn meeting room? Yeah, my penthouse. Are you kidding me? We can sit here around my round table and my Wait, three balls. It, it look different in here now. Yes, oh I yeah, know. this shit's wild, I man. This shit got yes. remodeled. This motherfucker got a scam, man. I got scams. They kicked me out of the pent penthouse and gave me the second floor there. All right, boys. Let's talk. Oh, shit. Uh, listen. So, first of all, you know what I'm saying, Tommy? I have a few questions uh, question for your web, man. You run out? That I was just wondering. Okay. So, it's Man of the Gang. I mean, I see it. We see his family, so. Hmm. I mean, you see, that's what you say, but everybody on the street sees you as a gang. Yeah, right? I guess, right? Even Dean himself called you a gang. So everybody thinks you a gang, right? Yeah. Okay. And who's your leaders? Who's our leaders? You. No one. Okay, so you We tell start me from the start. Are... We start from the start that, like, there's no leader. We just work on things together, you know? We always talk shit out. Okay, I mean, so you tell me, y'all. I mean, I respect it, but at the same time, that's. It creates a lot of conflict. That's a lot of. That yes, could be a lot of problems. You know what I'm saying? Okay, who, who's, who's, who's leader of NBC? Uh, I don't know. Guy. Okay, got you. Oh yeah, like I was saying. Y'all seen as a gang in the motherfucking street, man. Anybody that, you know what I'm saying, sees Mano, they see a gang. They see a bunch of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Gangsters, bro. But y'all don't even have no leader. No, y'all got nobody to lead y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be honest with you, Tommy. For the longest time, I had no idea y'all had no leader. I thought you was the leader. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought you was. Yeah, I think I just, I think I just speak to the most people, you know, mm. like outside of the gang, like all the boys, you know, like I just, I just, I chat to more people. Like I chill with you guys. I chill with everyone, really. So I think that's why it looks okay. like that, probably, you know what I mean? Regardless of whatever, I still have love for Dino and I have love for you as well, yes? We've been through quite a bit between us, Dino, Dino. You know, God, what are you doing? Man, I got itch, man. What the fuck? I got itch, man. Chill, man. When a man's got itch, he's got itch, you know? My bad. Exactly. <laughs> but yes, I still have love, but I don't know if Dean spoken to you, but Dean told us that he's going to be leaving. All right. And your name came up as well. My name? Your name, your entire gang's name, yes. Your family. Same what? Go ahead, Mr. Dean. I'm leaving NBC. I did go talk to Mandem saying I do want to join, but they haven't decided if they want to let me join yet or not. I told them whichever way the direction is, doesn't matter. I'm still leaving NBC. Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> now listen, hold on, hold on. Tell me, I ain't going to lie to you, man. You know what I said when I heard that shit when he said he wanted to leave NBC for the Manum? What'd you say? I said, let's smoke the Manum. I'm gonna go kill Tom with the AK 47. Let's mm -hmm. kill Dean. I'm gonna kill Dwayne. I'm off for Cam Rat for shit. Uh, who else I'm gonna kill? I'm gonna kill Moses too, bro. I'm finna kill everybody. I was pissed, man. Cause you know why? Cause I love this motherfucker Dean, bro. Like my brother, man. Like a fucking brother. And when he tells me that he leave my family to mm -hmm. go join another motherfucking family, then I'm pissed, bro. But then mm -hmm. I, I mean, I changed my mind, man. I don't know. Cause at the end of the day, if you love somebody, are you willing to let them go? No, I hear that. Thanks, Celine. <sighs> I mean, look, like, let me just put my, like, voice across real quick. Like, for me, 
there's no way I'd even entertain anything happening without talking to you guys first anyway. Because I see, like, I see you guys as family, really. Like, I've chilled with you guys loads. Mm. I mean, you've been hitting banks together, so deep, and Peanut, you know, like, you lot told me a lot of shit. I've learned so much from you guys. <laughs> so there ain't no, there ain't no way like I'm ever gonna try and disrespect you, man. You know. Oh my God, <laughs> man! You, man, you gonna make me cry, man? Chill, man. What the hell you doing, bro? I right, look, man. I'm just speaking the truth, you know. Like, okay, look, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You seen in the streets as a gang. Anybody mm. fuck with y'all? You know what I'm saying? Any gang in the streets fuck with y'all. The hell y'all finna do? Have you guys? Let me ask you. Have you had conflicts with other people or not yet? Um, we beefed the bowlers back in the day. That didn't go too well for us. It ain't go too well. God no, damn. but I'm, I'm pretty. That was really early on. I'm pretty sure Mando was trying to like g check us and test us to see like if we were about it you know if we'd retaliate always, yeah i remember this and then not too just a curious is that is when you guys were wearing purple and selling on his block yes that around that time there. yeah i see and we also, we also time... um we, we beefed uh bsk because i Dwayne, remember this Dwayne, shootout, Dwayne, Dwayne right? robbed one of them so we had to shoot out apartments Dwayne and patar robbed one of them yeah, so then and we go into shoot they, they kind of like targeted us opposed to you guys. And um yeah, I mean BSK I lost that, so them. Yeah, I spoke to them and I, I settled everything that Patar did on his behalf. I told them listen. Patar didn't know who he was and that's it. Alright. If he had known that it was one of your boys, then it wouldn't have escalated. So I told them you'll have some of your shit back. I gave them two thousand dollars and I said there's that. I don't want issues, I don't want to continue these verses and it needs to go. I think you boys are up and coming. You boys are starting to do more and more. You just be careful with who you're surrounding yourself and who you're telling your secrets to, yes? Yeah, Obviously, yeah. I, have, I have love for everybody, you know. I know a bunch of your boys. I don't know all of them. I, I know most of them, and most of them I have love and respect. But if people start stepping on your toes, people start messing with you. Since Dean is an extension of our family, and Dean is deciding to move on, I don't see an issue as to why we can't be closer. Enough. I agree. I mean, to be honest with y'all, I think it, let's be honest. Tom, my, my folks, Tom, can y'all, once again, they didn't have decided that decision to let me in yet. They still have to talk between Okay, yeah, people. that's fine. Regardless. All right, just want to make regardless sure. Regardless of all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if there was one gang in the city, the NBC is really like tight with, it would probably demand them. I mean, mm. I hang out with y'all, Alan hang out with y'all, Dean hang out, before Dean was leaving, whatever, whatever, Dean did, Patar did, all of us hang out with y'all. So, I mean, I mean, that's what you was getting at, right, Celine? Absolutely. It's the entire marijuana, Patar told me he's been helping you guys out with it. Dean was giving you guys batches of methamphetamine. It's all been, I guess it leads to this point. If whatever happens, it happens, but it's good to have friends and it's good to have allies. Yeah, I agree. Appreciate you, you guys. We do. Enjoy a little cup of wine. Always, Habibi, always. If you need anything from us, you give us a call, all right? Same. I mean, not that I can give you much, though, but I'll try. More than I mean, listen, listen. More as long as we do banks together, make some money, that's all I need, man, because I need to make some money. I, I want to buy a nice ass car. So all I'm Bro, you got 600k, is, no? We don't need money. I mean, yeah, but I, listen, just because <laughs> I got 600k, don't mean I need, I need more money, man. I need like 10 mil. You know what I'm saying? So we need to hit more banks, bro. Do something, you feel me? Do something. All right, I'm going to keep practicing, you know? All right, bet. Sounds good, man. Hell You're yeah. getting there, though. I'm, I'm six banks down, so. I mean, listen, me six and your ass, we did like two, yeah, we did two together. Yeah, I hacked six banks now. Good shit. Okay, okay, I told me. You want to go to a bank, Tommy? <laughs> I got a busy night, I'm not going to lie. There's so much yeah, shit going on. Beach. If I get some time, I'll holler you. Yeah, I think yeah, Alan's going to be around. We can go do that thing. I need to make a little money. All right, I have baby, Tommy. You take care of yourself, all right? I need to get changed, Peanut. I have a order. Oh, shit, I need to get changed, too. You, can I yeah, change yeah, you or not? Okay. We're all, we're all okay. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, you've been, what you been doing? So busy, busy. Well, I um, bought a laptop for Chase. Mm -hmm. So he could uh, try and get someone to do a hack and dip for him. Don't, 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 don't know that's sorted yet, but I just got a laptop so he's ready. 
And then um, I got a call from Salim saying, come to the penthouse now. No. So I went. By yourself? Yeah. Well, you said come, so... Bro. You just said about how we're moving individually. Yeah, but like, he said come, so I'm just going to go, bro. Like, he didn't say bring everyone. He just said, Tommy, come penthouse, so... Uh, I get that. I should, I, could, I, get, I should have hollered everyone, but... Nah, nah. What, what did he say? I knew you lot of business, yeah, so I was like, anything. fuck it, I'll go, you know? What did he say? So, Dean obviously told them the whole situation. And at first, I guess, like, Peanut said he was angry. Uh oh. Uh, but then, like, after they talk about it some more, they kind of come to the decision that, like, they see us as allies to them. And they see Dean as family. So, if Dean's family, then if he ever came to us, then we're like extended family of NBC. Yo. You get robbed, right? Yup. What the fuck happened? So, me and Ved, you know, we, uh, well, Dean basically got Rami to say that he was going to do a hack and dip for us, right? Okay. So, Dean has paid Rami the 7.5k to do that for us, which obviously we, we were going to give back to Dean either if we, you know, successful. If not, I could just pay him up my bank, right? Got you. So, we've got a car. All is great, you know. We're uh, whipping about. We go to the apartments and we see, like, one Donny standing by himself. So, yeah. we're like, me and Ved are like, well, fuck it, this person, we don't know who they are. They're yeah. wearing like, they're wearing a mask and all this sort of shit, so fuck it, you know? We don't know them. Was it a cookie mask? Uh, no, the guy had a cowboy mask on. Okay. He might have had a cookie mask on, I'm, I'm not sure, but he did cowboy definitely hat, have a cowboy cookie hat. mask. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But obviously, me and Ved don't know anybody in this Yeah, city. yeah, yeah. Like, we, know, we know each other, you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, we've just like, you know, you know the normal fucking spiel. We've yep, yep, gone, yep. uh, and, uh... We're like, I'll get in the car, and then the second we say get in the car, fucking all of a sudden we've got fucking like two, three sets of guns fucking shooting yeah, okay, at us. Yeah, got you, got you. Fed goes down, and then in the process of Fed going down, fucking I skirt off to the fucking hospital. The second we get to the hospital, I run out, fucking jump down the stairs, and I've got three of them fucking following me, and they fucking just shoot me dead, steal the laptop, steal my, f uh, steal my gun, everything. But th my only issue is like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about the rest of it. My only issue is, is like we didn't know who the fuck they were. Like I don't want beef for no for no reason because yeah, we there's no beef. There's no beef. Were. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I spoke but, I spoke to them. They're already using it, so I can't even get it back for you. Yeah. Um, that's the thi that's the thing. It's like a weak progress for like me and Veg, you know. So I just. So what, what happened to that money? Bit. What do you mean? What happened to that money? You said you paid. Dean paid. Yeah, so Dean Dean's already paid Rami. So Rami's waiting on a call. So Rami's got money. Rami's got seven point five k that um you could give back to Dean because obviously the job hasn't been done. So maybe okay. Say again, but I didn't. But I'm just trying to think. Might. I'm trying to what to do here. Yeah, yeah. So why, wait, why did Dean? So Dean paid. Why did Dean pay yeah. Rami? So like obviously he we were waiting. Yeah, yeah. So we were waiting for. Obviously the laptop was degrading and stuff. So I was like, I saw Dean at fucking the apartment. So I was like, hey, yo, Dean, do you know any hackers that are available right now? I said, Cause I don't want to bug Tommy. And uh, he was like. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I can I can contact these two people. If this person doesn't reply, then last resort, I can give Rami a call and see if he doesn't mind doing it. And then Rami was down to do it. And he said, I've already... And then Dean was like, right, okay, I've sent him the money. He's ready to go when you are. So uh, I ended up giving Rami a call and all that sort of stuff. And he said, right, the second you get to the bank, just let me know and I'll come over and do it for you. Because we were going to do the pink cage one. Because it was available. Yeah, got you, yeah. So it's just a case of like, you just basically robbed the wrong guy. Yeah. Basically, we, we, we had no no idea who they were. If we yeah. knew who they were, if we knew they were NBC, we wouldn't have fucking touched them. That was the issue. There's not really much I can do in that situation. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I understand that. I'm, yeah, I'm not... I just wanted to hear it out to see if I could, like, there was there's any solutions that I could run for you, but there's not. Yeah, of course, yeah. I get you. Sucks, though. But yeah, I guess in, in the future, like, when you're, when you're at apartments, you just want to try and... I mean, it's hard, isn't it? Because it's so hard to know everyone and know yeah. what they wear. And then sometimes you wear disguises anyway. Well, that's it, yeah. And I, I didn't know how how fucking how I felt about the being fucking shot on sight though. Yeah, it's just because I guess you put a gun on their boy, so yeah. I guess. Same thing. Same thing happened if you like. I mean, like, I guess if you pointed a gun at one of like my lot, the same thing would happen, you know. Yeah, I get you. It's, it's just instant retaliation because the only way you're gonna listen. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I get you. All right. Yeah, yeah. All good, man. It sucks though. Sorry. Nah, all good. All right, cheers, bro. No good. Should be good here. Yeah. So yeah, you wanted to talk, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure like things are like clear, set out and straight, you know. Make sure everything's understood, you know. So I'm guessing last time you saw Stacey, it wasn't the greatest situations, no. no? No, not really. I just wanted to sort of... I don't know. I just think things didn't go how they should all. Okay. So I don't know how much you know, like... So, um... we've oh, go spoken to Dave. We've spoken to Reggie. Yes, sir. They kind of have different stories. Right. Okay, and obviously I've spoken to you as well. Yeah. So Dave was pushing that you were involved and you knew about the whole car situation. To what extent? I mean, he didn't really elaborate on that. But right. Re Re Reggie pushed to clear your name. Okay. In my head, in my head, it was always Reggie anyway. I think Reggie was acting emotionally about the whole situation. And then he brought yes. Dave into that. And I think you got caught in the crossfire. And the reason why you get caught in the crossfire is because of how you are as a person, right? Right. And I mean, maybe not to, I'm trying to take offense to this, but I feel like you sit on the fence in situations like that quite a lot. You're trying to be a people pleaser. Yeah. So let's say when we had the first situation with D Dave and Reggie, you were like, for some reason I was negotiating with you to get to them, which is a weird yeah, situation yeah, yeah. all in all. I rated it yeah, we... because you, you, you stood up for them and you like, you spoke well. Yeah. I mean, for that, it was, it was mainly just, you know, I had friends on both sides and I mean, I would like to think that I would stand up for everybody, you know, even if the, you know, they say it was the reverse, you know, but I'm not saying that, you know, you would, I would have to speak for you because I think you, you can definitely speak for yourself. You're definitely able. I just felt like, um, I mean, Reggie kind of in, I feel like Reggie in situations goes very quiet and then Dave just fucking no, goes they, they, you, Dave runs his mouth and that's what gets him in trouble. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I wanted to make sure my friends were but okay. Reggie, Reggie literally... keeps quiet, but then he acts and he acts emotionally. Yeah, yeah. But you try to keep everyone happy and make sure you're in everyone's good books. Right. And in that situation, from what I assume, that's got you in trouble, right? Because it looks from our, our side that you're involved to an extent because of like delaying what you're doing. You're not, you're not like telling Stacey what's going on as soon as possible. Right. I don't um, know the whole situation and I don't think we ever will know. Only you and those guys are going to know the real extent of the situation because I've heard yeah. three different stories realistically. So if you wouldn't mind me interjecting real quick, um, when it comes to the whole making sure I told Stacey, it was... Um, you, did, you said you did it at your first possible chance, I, I, right? I did it. I did it when I felt that at any point it would be, you know, a threat towards you, Stacey. That's what I thought. Um, and let's, let's, let me just use like a metaphor. Basically, Reggie was the door and Dave was the key and I held the key. The door couldn't do shit. You know, I had control over Dave's at that point and the second he left my side, he, uh, that, <laughs> okay. that's when I, that's when I ran. Look, let me, let me, let me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna speak here, all right? Make things yeah. clear. Not, not only do I not care about what you say, right? I don't think you have control over anything. I think you're stupid and you make stupid mistakes and you really just want to please everybody. I don't like you. I don't have to like you, but I'm not going to try to kill you, all right? Okay. That's all I have to say. All right. Well, I mean, I, I, I appreciate you, uh, you giving me your full opinion. Um, no now, problem. I, I would... I would I would say that I don't necessarily make stupid mistakes. I think I think that I make sort of I and this is as the, you said I'm just I, you, I, I do people please. It, it, yeah. It's the people pleasing which causes, I guess, silly decisions which end up making you look yeah, potentially stupid, right? Because in certain right. in, in certain situations you need to be acting on one side to make sure you're making the right decision, and that yeah from the outside that decision determines how we see you. Yeah, of course. So if, I, if I can clock that you're clearly just trying to please me and then clearly trying to please them, like I know you're not making the smart decision each time. Right. Well, I would say after the whole situation, um, 
after all of this sort of went down and uh, I was made aware of Dave's situation and stuff, um, I was then, uh, I spoke to Reggie and he texted me um, because I, I kind of made it clear that I wasn't going to, basically Dave needed surgery or some shit like that and uh, and it was going to cost like 20k. They wanted me to pay because they were like, I have some sort of like um responsibility for what happened to them but i told him not to do anything and then that happened so i kind of put my foot down and i said look you guys fucked up i told you not to do that shit and uh that was it and after i hang up the phone uh i got a text from reggie a fucking long-winded one um basically saying that you're gonna pay no matter what and i said well your actions you know have consequences and you know you're gonna have to deal with them you know and i kind of put that was where I kind of put my foot down at that point. And I wasn't trying to sort of people please at that point. It was like, you know what? I mean, you know, they're causing me issues and I've, you know, I've got to stop, um, you know, uh, I've got to stop, you know, those sort of issues from arising again. So I think from, from the point of, you know, people pleasing, I think at this point I've learned my lesson for sure. And, uh, I understand the sort of com complicated uh, matters that can come from that, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know. But that, that, that's you know. for me. That's it, really. I mean, like obviously, Stacey's had her say. Yeah, of course. And right. I think I think it's just a case of like in the future, just try and make the right decision for you, like for where where your loyalties lie or whatever, and then it's clear to everyone right. where they stand and you stand. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I said, I think, you know, I've sorted things out on my side of things, I would say. I just wanted to make sure I could you know, get in conversation with you two and just sort of understand where your positions lie. I may I don't not think agree I made myself with... clear. Yeah, you, you made yourself mm -hmm. relatively clear. I mean, I can disagree quite. Oh, I can. As yeah, much that's as my like. opinion. As far as I'm concerned, your yeah, no, disagreement with that opinion can't be fucked, you know. No offense. Oh, no, that's that's fair enough. That's, that's fair enough, madam. You know, uh, some people have opinions and uh, some that people, is what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are we done? Or is he going to keep waffling for No, I mean, we're done. We're done. Like, yeah, I, like no, I said, fine. if I need to say, I think I, that was I mean, I the key point as well I said. I would appreciate if she wasn't just, so childish about it, but, you know. I just, it is what it is. That? That's her opinion. Leave I said I would appreciate Hi. if you weren't childish about oh, it. Oh, God. But apart from that. So... Me telling you that I don't like you and being very clear about that and you You just pretended maybe... to be asleep for ages, madam. I mean, let's be fair, that's rather childish. Not wrong. He's not wrong. I mean, would you disagree with that opinion? I think that's a rather informed opinion. I don't care what you think, man. You don't need to care what don't I think. insult me in that's front of me. Don't be a dick and insult me in front of me, man. I did. I did. You were literally right there and you started walking away. I made sure you could hear it. As I said, you don't have to I mean, like I'm me. Doing I my don't best have here. to like you. I'm actually doing my best. We're good. We're good. Look, I, I, as I said, I don't have beef with anybody. I just wanted to make sure that uh, things were sorted. No, it's he sorted, doesn't need sorted, to like me. I'm fine with it. All right. No, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna please everyone, right? And that's that's clear, right? Yeah. There. No. No. So... Look, and honestly, that that's probably a very great example of what just happened. Exactly. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I have no. no and that's gonna happen. Whatsoever. That's gonna happen in the city when you start making decisions like just based on what's right for you that's gonna happen a lot and you're gonna yeah, upset course, people you're course. gonna make people happy but you can't make everyone happy okay yeah no look honestly i i i think the outcome of this situation is probably how i thought it was gonna go um and i'm i'm in a good sport i'm pretty happy well i guess it could have gone better but I, i'm relatively happy with how it's gone um it could go a lot worse yeah yeah it could all right well i appreciate you uh you told me i really do it means a lot. That's nah, all good. Damn right, Sam. All right. Um. All right. I'll probably walk myself back all to right. the apartments. I feel like it's probably not my place to. Uh... All right. You stay safe. All right. You too. You can. You can get a ride. I don't care. Well, you made it very clear that you like yeah. Lana, right? Yeah. So what do you want me to do about that? There's nothing you have to do. I told you there's nothing there's there's nothing to be done. You know? Don't yeah, look no, at I know. Me like that. 
making me nervous. The point still stands, though. Mm-hmm. I still feel like you tried to use me as a chess piece in your game. I thought about it and it comes to the same conclusion every time. There's no two ways about it, you know? As I said, it's beneficial for both of us. You know? You like her, don't you? It doesn't matter if I like, like her, because well, you, you like forced her, it on she me, likes really. You? I didn't force anything. Because that was your plan you already, all along. Yeah, but you guys were already... I just, you know, I nudged it in the right direction, is all. Yeah, but I'm not like a chess piece in your game, you know? I don't consider you one. But you treat me like one. I don't. You did. You said you nudged in the right direction. Twisting what I'm saying. There's no ill intentions. So you're telling me that your intentions has always just been just to get her closer so you can just be friends and chill with her. Yeah, what else what what, what else can I do, you know? But every time we chill together, then I'm going to know. Like we said at the bank yesterday, it's going to be awkward. I know you're looking at her like you like her. If I chat to her, you're going to be sat there in the back getting jealous. Let's say me and her go somewhere. Me and her go do a jewelry store and you're not there. Are you going to be getting jealous? Are you going to call me and say, oh, what are you doing? Why are you with her? Are you going to call her and say, why are you with him? No. How do I know that? Well, have I done that? It hasn't happened yet. Right, but I, and I only found about this yesterday. Either. I only found out, I found out yesterday as well. Yeah, but before that, have I done anything like that? Ever? Have you ever been jealous? Yeah, well, no, <laughs> not that. But like, have I ever, like, inquired to either of you, like, why you together? I'm, I'm the one who pushed you guys together. Well, not push you. You know what I mean? I proved it. You know, I, I, I try to help you both. Look, I, I get... Look I get yesterday, look, look, look what you did yeah. yesterday, right? We're chopping, or we're boosting, yeah. we're chopping, right? You're fighting me to get her in your car. She got so awkward that she had to jump into the water and swim away from you and us. Because you're trying to make her pick between us two. So yeah, you have. That you really have, and that's the first day. That's not the first day, Bill. But it's us, it's just us three being together, you know? No, that's just the first day that you, you know about it. Look, what do you mean? The way I see it is that... What do you I, mean? I, well, you didn't know about... Like, it's been happening for a long time, man. Like, I've known Lana for a long, long time. Treat her like a friend. Her. And you leave it that way. Then we're good. Yes, sir. But you pull that shit again, and I'll make sure she ain't around us ever again. Yes, sir. That clear? Yes, sir. <laughs> She's walked off. Fuck. <laughs> he, he told me to leave her, man. He has to just go for it. I've just got to go for it with him. He's now the leader, so he's got to just go for it. Don't know about me, I'm Tommy T. Man was the jack the start, but back in the ends, I'm a real OG. And I was broke for a while, had to sell some fish, I was out at sea. Then I ran into the G's, now making money moves properly. Yo, don't know about me, I'm keeping it real. Golden boy in the building, educate all of them man on drill. I was on stage and I had that still.